I've flashed V10 benchmarks and done every V3 to V8, except this V7, which I swear is impossible. I've tried everything and I just can't flip and work it out. I think there's two things going on here. Number one, there's just something that I haven't unlocked. I feel like there's always something to be learnt from climbs and this is something there for me. And number two, this moonboard is not in good shape. Aside from a few holds being on the wrong angle, there's also just a lot of dirty slickness going on on these holds. And these two crux holds especially, just, you get no feedback from them. It feels like you're trying to grab onto a bowling alley, which at 40 degrees is quite difficult. So when all else fails here, I send out the emergency moonboard signal. I call Intergalactic Moonboard Rescue, aka Lee Cooges and the Moonshed. If you're into moonboarding, his setup is kinda dreamy. Two moonboards, fingerboards coming out of his ears, a full quiver of brushes, it's climate controlled, and he has a trumpet. If I cannot do it here, there's definitely something wrong. Hey Google, turn off shed fans. So here I am with International Moonboard Rescue, Lee Cooges and the Moonshed. He is going to be hopefully my saviour for this today. Thanks for having me along, Lee. No worries, <laughs> mate. Always here to help here. This is not the first time I've called upon Lee to help me out with a benchmark that's given me grief at the bolo. Rusty Swivel, there was a slicko black pinch that after three sessions I couldn't do the move and then came to Lee's shed. I think I pretty much chalked up on the move on the way through. Yeah, I think he did it maybe first first go. Yeah, it felt very yeah. different. So I'm hoping for that today. Give it hell. It's your go-to moonboard warm-up. I would, for me, I would like go to six, eight, like I go to the easiest, exclude my repeats. Depending on how I was feeling, I would oscillate between sort by quality or sort by most repeats. If I was feeling crap, I would go by most repeats because I know they're going to be easy. And if I'm feeling pretty good, I'll go by quality to see what what low grade gems I've missed, and then I'll just cycle, and then and then quickly the six eight plus would, would ratchet up, ratchet up, ratchet up until I was feeling like yeah, I'm, I'm ready to pull. Mm. And it would look like probably ten problems or something like that, or eight problems for me, who doesn't do a lot of volume. Yeah. And then I'd be getting close to to feeling pretty ready. Yeah. on a wood hold, once you brush the wood hold. If you let the rubber layer on rubber, it just starts to become this thing that is unbrushable. I'd be onto it with the brushing. Just, yeah. if you stand on a wood, you just brush it after you've used it. And then it seems to be okay. I had a, a real push recently as well, just to really make sure that my fingers are, are warm. Well, like rec well recruited, yeah, definitely. Super rush through that aspect of my warm up. Unfortunately, and you just pay the consequences every time. And are these all still the engine? Yeah. Yeah, move them around, do what you need to do. Yeah. Sick. Best idea. I'm gonna call myself, like, kind of ready to jump on this thing. I've tried it probably the conventional way, just coming up to this here. What does the video say? Does the video have someone that doesn't match your body type at all well, doing it? Ravioli did it this way. Which is how I read it. Yeah, yeah and that was my original <laughs> thought. And then was like, just couldn't conceive of hitting that. Uh, right foot still on the footboard? Here. Uh, so you hit this, and then it's like foot up, up to there. Yep. And bump out. Oh. And then I think feet in here come underneath it. Yep. And then Pick. up. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, maybe I'll just try and skip this and then start trying it coming over, which I, I was reading through the comments, and that's what a lot of people have done is the cross. Mm. 
which kind of worked, but I just, this hold was so bad. It's so polished here at the bolo that you just like hit it and just spoof out. Hopefully that has a little bit of something on it. Yeah, it feels a lot better. It's like nowhere to hide on these holds, is there? It's not usually a mega trick. Grippy, let's go. Come on. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you, you'll that do That feels so much closer. You'll do it that way. I wonder if the other way feels... That's yep. pretty awesome. Okay. Well, now you're now you're now you're in two minds. Do it both ways. Do both babies back to back. Flip the coin. Screen is gonna be Gaston method and the bump. And the unicorn is gonna be the crossover. I do like a crossover. Let's see how we go. I don't think I've ever actually tried the top. I'm sure it'll just be easy. On side of it. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be any harder considering what <laughs> I've done to get there. Come on. Good. Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh man, that feels so much. Let's, let's see if I can do it the other way. It feels so much better. is so much harder. There you go. I think the cross is a lot better for me at least. Now what's next? You need a bigger whiteboard? Yeah I'm gonna need a bigger whiteboard. 